Hi everyone, um, welcome to the meeting place. Um, what a great afternoon, what a lovely weather we've got, uh, wherever you all are. Uh, I bet some of you are at the sea. Um, we're looking forward to our trip soon. Uh, we're going away, going away for a week, so it'll be nice. The first one we've had for a long time. Anyway, today I just want to talk about a few P's, which is patience, persistence, perseverance, all sorts of things. The reason for this is um, myself and a lot of friends, and of course Phil, we've got some plans that we would love to put together. It's just knowing how to do it and uh, when to do it. Um, everything uh, we've put down on paper, we've uh, made plans in a form of writing and we've just got to wait I think but you know what a lot of people just like me just like my friends we've uh, we run out of patience don't we um, so we've back to where we were again we've, we've just got to be quiet and we discussed this yesterday uh, as a group and we've decided you know what we've got to back off now um, we've been going for a few months trying to sort things out so I think we're going to leave it which we should have done in the first place because you know uh, like Jeremiah 29 11 says for I know the plans I have you for you declares the Lord and uh, plans to prosper you and not harm you uh, plans to give you hope in a future um, we need to seek his kingdom and uh, his righteousness and all these things will be given to us won't they if we do this you know there's lots of scriptures in there that uh, we read over and over but do we do what they ask us to do. Um, this particular time we've gone over it well, a good Bible study yesterday and we decided this is, you know, we've got to start with these things. We're going to put our plans before him and leave it for him and see if it's going to be so or if it's not. I mean, um, we need to pursue, you know, we still pursue things, you know, you don't, everyone pursues something. Uh, whether it's a dream or a plan or a holiday or, or you know things like that uh, pursue actually means follow and trail um, chase and reach that's what we're trying to do aren't we we're trying to reach our goal what we've set to ourselves if you know some of us have goals some of us don't um, but do you know what interestingly the opposite to pursue is uh, antinom, the antinom is the opposite of pursuit and do you know what it means? It means to let go, retreat, stop, leave and forget. So you know that's good advice isn't it? Even though we're pursuing we still need to let go, retreat and just forget it until it becomes a reality which is in God's timing. Uh, dream chasing is only re uh, relevant um, if it's rooted in God's timing isn't it and in God's calling on on your life uh, when God speaks a dream into your heart you won't be able to uh, let go of it will you because he's given you this dream but it's when we get this dream uh, we're very persistent aren't we in things I mean we're continuing firmly and obstinately uh, on a course of action aren't we in spite of difficulties and opposition we need to wait until God's purpose has been fulfilled in us when we're ready to take that on. Um, Hebrews 6.12 says, Then you will not be sluggish. Mm, that's interesting, isn't it? But you will imitate those who through faith and patience will inherit what has been promised. So you know we've got that promise, haven't we? Um, perseverance. Well, that's a technique, isn't it? It illustrates single-mindedness sometimes, doesn't it? Because... You know, our perseverance can be, oh, in every one of us, is different. I mean, writing down your vision uh, on paper is a timeless principle, isn't it? We, I write my things down, I keep a book. Um, it often gives you the correct directions and coordinate, coordinates you, uh, your need to follow and to get to your desired uh, destination. It also gives you the inspiration and motivation you need to push through life's tough challenges. Because we get lots of those, don't we? Definitely. <laughs> I mean, James 1.4, I mean, that's about perseverance. He said, let perseverance finish its work. So that you may be made mature and complete, and then you will not lack nothing. Now, that's good advice, isn't it? It says, let patience have her perfect work. Perfect work. I like that statement. It's quite nice, actually. Perfect work. That you will be perfect and entire and you will want for nothing. Patience. Hmm. We have to accept 
things, tolerate things. We sometimes delay problems, don't we? And we often suffer about delaying things. We become annoyed and we get anxious because we want it now. Do you know what? God knows what he wants for us and he's in co control of our plans. He has the blueprint for our lives drawn up because you know that the testimony of faith precedes perseverance then your endurance will have a chance to grow. Testing of your faith produces steadfastness and I believe it produces spiritual maturity and inner peace. And Luke 21, 19 says, By your patience, endurance, you will gain your soul. Um, endurance. <laughs> Ability to endure difficult process and situations without giving up. We can never give up. We can never give up. We need to keep, you know, don't give up on things. Not till the very end. When we set a goal, we need to really do a heart check. By that I mean... We need to discern this goal. And now is this goal for you? Is it for me? Or is it for God's glory? Because I know what happens when we do it in our own strength. It's got to be for God's glory that we pursue this goal. It's got something to do with what he's given us, hasn't it? Romans 8, 28. And we know that not all things work together for good. They actually do work together for good. And to, to them that love God, and to them who are called according to his purpose so you know I believe if it's what God wants then it will be if it's not what God wants then that door will be shut and we need to stop so gracious and living God I get scared I get nervous about the future but I know that the future is in your hands Lord I know that you're with me and as I go through this day and every day, help me make these good decisions and be with me every step of the way because I need you with me to guide me, of course. So, I think I'll end there. It's a bit of a funny old subject, subject isn't it? But after our group discussion yesterday, we was all in a quagmire of what we wanted out of things and we've all decided to back off, retreat, leave it and stop you know which is the antinom of pursue so that's what we're going to do and we're going to wait on him so god bless you all and i hope you have a lovely week in this beautiful sunshine god's country isn't it great bye